these little espresso cups, these are from Crate and Barrel. They're so cute. They have the gold rim. And Ryan and I use these when we need a little espresso in our bodies. Crema. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice and refreshing every time I take a second, make an intro, and I have my makeup done, my hair, and a nice hat, a nice outfit. It's very rare these days. So you guys usually see me like start my vlogs with just no makeup and I'm just like waking up, I'm half awake. And today I've just gotten so much done. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling positive. So I just thought it was, it's a perfect time to film a video. And I've actually straightened my wig for the first time ever. I started playing around with it, which I really like. I haven't had straight hair in a long, long time. So it almost looks even blonder, like lighter once it's straightened. I've got my big hat on today and we're about to go out in the sun and enjoy some sunshine with the girls. But I just kind of wanted to catch you guys up on life really, like the last video, because I go through periods where I'm just not on social media as much. We have so much going on behind the scenes. And you guys know if you have like young toddlers, there's like so many birthdays in the summertime, water activities, and it can get really exhausting. Uh, so we've been doing that. We also have been looking at a rental opportunity for Ryan and I. Uh, so there's just been like a lot behind the scenes that has been going on that I haven't caught you guys up on. And then also like working on new product launches. So that's also something I've been doing a lot. Uh, but let me know how you guys are doing. How's your week going? And are you guys starting to travel again? I know here as of I think last week, we didn't have to wear masks if you've been vaccinated. So it's been kind of nice and refreshing. Like it's weird to see people's faces now. I almost feel like socially awkward or something like when I'm like, I feel, it's just a weird experience. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but um, even my banker, cause I've never seen her face. She's just like, oh, it's so refreshing to see your face now. Uh, and I've been going to her since we've been here for like a year now. So it's so crazy. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are doing awesome. And in today's vlog, I thought I would just share a bunch of random things. Um, those are honestly my favorite videos to film because there's less pressure for me to filming a video. And I rather just kind of, yeah, go through, I guess, a bunch of random things. I don't even know what yet, but I'm gonna be filming today and tomorrow. So I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, I've been trying to get or into the whole TikTok world. And if you guys wanna add me, it is SL Miss Glam. I'll leave a link down below. Definitely follow me. I'm starting to do like regular TikToks and posting them as reels on my Instagram because I've heard so our content creators are gonna have to get up in their video content because Instagram is no longer no longer going to be like a social sharing app which is pretty crazy because that's really what Instagram is um, so I'm sh pretty sure it's gonna be pretty nerve-wracking for people that are just used to posting photos and like aren't used to talking in front of a camera which can kind of be I know a little frightening if you're not used to it. I'm gonna try to get some clips right now of the girls playing outside. It's finally nice. It was kind of crappy the last few days, but I'm gonna go outside now. Ryan actually has to go pick up his Chevelle. Um, he's getting something done to it and yeah, another busy day, but I'm excited to get back into filming. So if you guys have not yet subscribed, please subscribe now, join the fam, and also give this video a thumbs up and I'm gonna roll right in. All right, so it is actually the next morning that I'm filming this. I knew I was gonna film it today because yesterday got really busy with the girls and anytime it gets busy with the girls outside, I just have no energy to film. Sorry, that's just my dishwasher right now. I'm doing like tons of dishes. You should have seen this like five minutes ago. There was dishes everywhere. I have pots and pans to do and we just have been so busy this last uh, week. Uh, I have my coffee in here, which I got this tumbler. I'm obsessed and Ryan was actually recommending it because I would heat up my coffee like five times a day. So it's just so much easier. It stays hot and he has one as well. So it's just really nice and we can have hot coffee. And especially if we're walking the girls out with Max, I like to bring it with me. Um, have my eggs and my little egg container, which I love this. I got this at home sense. It just makes it look so nice. And we're big on eggs. We have them every morning for breakfast. And sometimes the girls like them for lunch. So I have them in here about to make breakfast, do dishes. Sorry for the beeping. <laughs> It's wanting me to start it, but um, you guys always ask to see when the house is messy. So, Wella, I've been picking up toys all morning. Uh, they literally bring all their toys from downstairs and bring everything up here, like the most random things. Like I got these the other day for the girls. They're just like little 
ice cream furry journals that they've just been like coloring in it and they love these they just carry them around which it just makes more sense to have these sometimes they get bored of the coloring books and these are really fun um these also these fidget toys they're obsessed we had them out for dinner the other day i showed you guys on my instagram and they were doing this for like an hour like this is good entertainment i'll link it down below if you guys are interested but fidget toys is amazing right now also i got this as a pr package so i've never heard of this company before but their bottles are beautiful i actually want to wash my hair today and try it out but it's monday um and they're a gentle shampoo and conditioner for delicate hair and scalps so these are actually i read all on, on um their pr package they are at walmart and also they're coming to shoppers so that's awesome and really um easy to find so that's great and yeah just lots of oh broken bracelet is that broken yep the girls get into everything and then i also have these little i think they're hair bands or wristbands that they came with probably hair bands um anyways yeah and then i got the girls little swim floaties and one was broken so i'm gonna have to return these on amazon but they're really cute like little flamencos and yeah i'm gonna have to return them and get new ones for the girls but we were planning to go to a pool last week but it had uh it was raining that day so we didn't go but anyways and the other thing i want to find so i love this floral so so much um but we've been outside on our patio a lot i'm almost wanting to bring it outside i feel like it looked really good on our um sorry about the dirty windows but on our table out there uh and getting something else for here it's just so hard because this island is like huge like it's so big so you have to get something really big if you see something though online that might look good definitely let me know because if it's a floral arrangement or whatever it is like i'm really interested in find some, finding something new um and then also this was just a bunch of stuff this was a bunch of stuff i shared with you guys on my insta stories yesterday i feel like i haven't been on there a lot uh and summer fridays body lotion if you guys haven't tried this it's so nice and hydrating i use this every day also my gucci primer i'm almost out of it it is really hydrating the scent bothered me at first but grew i grew on it and um it really is nice and my foundation stays on all day this was recommended from miss liz hart so it's a jamaican black castor hair oil you can put it on your face and skin too i really like it in my hair it's like the thickest oil i've ever seen and i just massage it in so really like that this cream blush by um Kristen Dominique. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am obsessed with it. It comes on my skin so natural and I've been really, really loving it. And it's just so creamy um, and it is the soft pink. So I've been wearing this every single day. You can use your fingers, but I like to use a sponge or a brush. Um, and it just looks flawless when it's on. And then Tom Ford, Soleil Blanc. I know I talk about this all the time, but I literally live for it in the summer. It just gives your skin such a beautiful sparkle and shimmer and i love it and also just some random other things i have my palette and ryan chevelle book my mom got him that um, for father's day so that's out in the kitchen too this palette i've been going in with every day literally warm cool tones you can use it for day night like this is just the ultimate palette for summer and for fall even i just been obsessed and some other random things i got in my ipsy bag and then right here i just bought these actually from nasty gal um, I needed new runners. I want to start running, but I just think these are really nice and they were a nice price too. So of course white sneakers. I love white shoes and I have the girls. I didn't want to show these yet, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well because there's going to be, we're going to have our photographer here, Des, for their birthday, but I wanted to show you a few outfits that I found for them. If you guys are doing like the um, Wild Young and Three theme, they have so many cute little outfits at Old Navy right now. So I found this at Old Navy. It's just a jumper. Um, and then this other one that I found too, which I, I don't know. I like both. Do you guys like the light or the dark? So this other one and I, okay, look at this. It's like off the shoulder. That's so cute. And this is a little bit shorter, so it might be nicer because it's still hot in September, but so, so cute. I just like planning things in advance because I know how crazy it gets and I was so stressed out the last birthday. Um, and yeah, anyways, so, I, and then I got my outfit, but the problem was, I don't know how this happens to my clothes, but, um, they didn't give me the right size. I ordered a two and it was a size eight, but I also got a leopard dress. So I'm going to have to return it from nasty gal, but I got some other dresses. I got like a green slip dress. It's upstairs. So I'll show you that after, but I really do have to finish cleaning the kitchen. I'm going to make my eggs. This I got from Crate and Barrel and we just went there on the weekend and I love these. Like I kind of want to buy more. 
I feel like it's a bit high to put it um, in the kitchen just because the chandeliers, but this is like so pretty. I want to put it in other places in the house. And the vase I think is from Home Sense, but I just love the look of it. It's just so, so pretty. Um, so I'm really looking to get more. We went into like restoration hardware too and I almost had a panic attack. We like walked so quickly out of that store because we were with the girls. I'm like, okay, fast walk. Um, we went into Crate and Barrel. I think they like ran onto a couch, but I mean, kids will be kids, but we just, uh, yeah, we were careful in restoration hardware. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee, make some eggs and be back in a minute. Max's new little spot, so, so cute. And we also got some new planters. I don't even think I've showed you guys um, yet, but they're white. Um, but it, I don't know, I really want to get really high, like black um, containers. I saw some on Wayfair and then get some nicer florals. We didn't really have options, but we just wanted something out there because we've been having friends over and stuff since um, COVID restrictions have gone down here. So you can like go out now without a mask and um you know have social gatherings and stuff like that it's so weird i literally went to my bank the other day you guys and um or just yesterday and it was so weird because she hasn't seen my face and i've been with her for like a year now so it was just it was kind of surreal it was weird but um she's like oh my gosh that's the first time i've seen your face uh but yeah anyways i just let me know if you guys are um if it's, you know, the restrictions have gone down where you are, it definitely has been really refreshing to see friends and family and, um, and almost all my friends and family have been vaccinated. So, uh, quickly just wanted to show you guys. And also I think in my last video, I updated you, but we have all the bundles back in stock and also the natural gland palette. My mom actually ordered like six. Um, she's going to Edmonton, I think next week. So she got some for like the cousins and stuff like that. And it just, it's nice because I've noticed it's for every age group really. And even my mom wears it. And I feel like it's just a really beautiful, cool and warm toned palette, like I said. And the colors are so wearable. I've got some other samples I'm playing with in here for new stuff. I have a new brush set that is absolutely like, it, it has to be my favorite. I know I say that every time, but this one is actually my favorite. So I'm hoping to launch it next month. I'm just finishing up everything. Um, I have my shoes in here. Like literally you guys, I have new samples just have to clean. Like this just has to be a cleaning weekend because I get embarrassed every time I show you guys something and I'm like, ah, it is so messy in here. And right here, this is what I bought for the girls party actually, but I just, and it was 69, I still have the tag on, 69.99. It's really nice, but I feel like it would look great in our house after the event too. Um, like even in my office, I do like it in my office. I do want a lot of greenery. I think greenery really brightens up um, it makes, you know, a home feel more vibrant and um, I definitely have like little things everywhere like this, but I think this is also really pretty and I've been really liking it. Where is my mouse? Okay, it is on the ground. The girls come in here all the time and just go through and read everything. Uh, yeah, I even have to be careful with stuff on the walls, you guys, because they're getting so tall that they can actually reach this now. I saw the other day Mia was like climbing in my bowl in my bowl. I shouldn't have that there. Um, in reaching for this. And I was like, oh my God, Whew, not my play button. But anyways, it's just crazy. And then the other thing I'll have to show you guys once I go outside, but we have like our chairs out here too that I bought. They're really nice. They're black and we sit out here a ton. And this guy desperately needs a haircut. I think we're going to call next week or the place we were going to close down um, with COVID. So we're going to have to find somewhere else to take him, but he's so fluffy. He's having his morning nap. I don't know if you guys can hear the girls screaming. Oh my goodness. They are in like, or Mia especially is like in this screaming frenzy. Let me know if that goes away by three. I hope so. But like literally she'll just be standing there and she'll be like, ah! like out of nowhere. And we're like, our ears, inside voice. <laughs> um, have my coffee up here. I just did my skincare and I always load up on sunscreen. I'm using this one. I think it's called Skin Mediva or something, but it's from where I get my hair injections from, which update, I have not gotten my injections in like two months. So I usually get it every four weeks and um, she actually switched locations, but again, they were closed because uh, of COVID. But I haven't gone for a while, so I can already tell like right here, like by the front, it's starting to like lose hair again. It looks like it's growing back in the rest of the plate, like the back of my hair and like upper areas like this, it's starting to grow back, but the sides have kind of, gone back to 
how they how they were before so I'm gonna have to definitely go for some injections but um, they do work really well but you have to I think get it done or you have to keep going um, and I'm not sure like because I haven't gotten it like that's why I've got the hair loss back but I feel like you do become pretty dependent on the injections but um, just don't take them like if you're pregnant I know you can't um, uh, or if like you're breastfeeding, you can't as well because they're really strong um, injections. But anyways, I am going to do my makeup right now. I thought I would just catch up with you guys. We are going to go on a walk and then I'm not sure what we're doing for the rest of the day. I have to pick up stuff for my friend's barbecue. So we're going to a big barbecue tomorrow. And I also, so in my last video when I asked you guys like, what do you want to see? I got some comments of like... Like, why are you always in your house? Like, why don't you film when you're out? And do you guys go outside? And you guys, like, we are outside 24-7. Um, I only film, like, once every week. And sometimes it's once every two weeks. So it's only a small little, like, hour out of our long week that we have. But we're outside all the time. And I know I've talked about this already. And you guys already know Ryan and... You know, you know how my family is, but Ryan, you know, he doesn't like to be filmed and I have to respect that. And a lot of my friends also, some of them, you know, I think wouldn't mind, but some of them probably wouldn't like me filming when we're like out doing things. Um, so I know a lot of other YouTubers probably have that same problem and deal with those same things, but I'm very limited to what I can, when I can actually film and what I can film. So that's why I do everything at home. I try to do home videos, decor, beauty, like I try to include a lot of stuff and just like update you on life because I know a lot of you guys are, you know, you ask like, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Kind of thing when I've been gone for a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's just, I think, you know, something that I have to just deal with. And obviously it's just coming up with new content all the time, but I try not to be so hard on myself. I'm like, you know, I just get in front of the camera and start filming because that's what I enjoy doing is talking to you guys. That's why I have my channel and I just kind of have to repeat that sometimes. But once I have, or I feel like now <clears throat> that things are opening back up, like I can start filming out again. Um, so I've booked myself a pedicure, I've booked myself a nail appointment, a facial next week, so I'm really, really excited. It's about time. And I was hoping to get a massage too, but I don't think I'll be able to. I'm just gonna start getting ready. My sponge is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. I need to really, oops, yikes. I need to um, do my brush cleaning sometime later today too, but I need to get ready right now to go out because we usually like to do our walk before it gets really hot for Max and um, the girls have like the most energy from like 7 a.m. to like 11. Um, so before lunch, I'm like, okay, we need to get them outside. Um, but yeah, that's been our routine. We just go on really nice walks and there's actually going to be a park. They're making a park. Um, do you guys remember that pond and it was like an ice rink that I showed you guys in the winter time? So like right there, which will be awesome. Like there's just going to be so much for them to do. Um, around us so I'm really excited for that other than that though I've been watching have you guys seen the new show on Netflix the sex life like holy moly crap I've been it or we started talking about it in my mom's group with just some of my friends out here and it's such an intense show like I just was not expecting it it's very realistic on like how things are after you have a baby and like breastfeeding and everything like that like everything is pretty accurate and it just gets so intense and heated i was like whoa i did not expect this at all um but let me know if you've seen the show i know it's number one in canada right now and then the too hot to handle i i started i watched the first season then i watched a little bit of the second and i just i don't know i i couldn't finish it but i know it's really popular but it's hard to kind of get into it because when when I want to just like relax, honestly, you guys, I throw on crime shows. Like I'm just such a crime show junkie. Like I can watch them all night long. And that's all I've been doing is just watching crime basically. And then I got into the sex life series that I finished. And besides that, I haven't really been watching anything else. But let me know what you guys have been up to. There's so many like birthdays and like outdoor activities that we've been doing. It's just been so crazy. And even for Ryan and I, like, we both admit, like, we're like, holy moly, like, two and a half to almost three is, like, so busy. And there was just this point where I'm like, 
wow like you have to watch them 24 7 like they are just so full of energy and they want to do everything themselves so like <clears throat> even making them lunch or breakfast like they want to do everything they want to grab their own bowl they want to get their own cup they want to pour their milk they want to do everything themselves so you just kind of have to keep an eye but it's nice i mean they definitely are getting very independent but at the same time you still have to watch out for spills and you know still teach them things and also for twins we're in that well i don't know if it ever goes away but they fight over everything like everything and um it's just constant so you just have to always kind of you know get them to share and that's the thing with twins they share everything and like you know they have everything they share all the same toys same things so they just kind of have to get used to it right but there's always going to be like a love hate with twins and you know there is a bond that they'll have and they'll have it for the rest of their life and i think it's so special being identical and having a twin like i think that's so unique um but at the same time i get, i get it like it's you know your sister drives you crazy um going in with my powder right now too charlotte tilbury i'm obsessed with this it's so good Also, I've been doing a ton of TikToks, and if you guys have not started following me, it's just SL Miss Glam, and I've been posting them as reels, and the one I did yesterday, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Yeah. This one. So with my background, um, I get asked that like every day in comments, in person, like, what are you? What are you? Um, what's your background? And no one like ever really gets it right, especially half of what I am, I guess. Um, but I always get Hawaiian or Filipino and especially like when I'm darker skinned in the summertime, because obviously I tan really easily. And um, yeah, I am half Chinese and no one can ever guess that right. Like so many people were like, what Chinese? You don't look Chinese. Um, and it's funny because Asian, a lot of my Asian friends think I look really Caucasian. And then a lot of my Caucasian friends think I look really Asian. So it's, just, it's a funny thing. Um, but I was asking if like you're mixed or like what is your background? Let me know in the comments and I got so many comments and the mix some of the mixes were beautiful I was like wow, that's so unique and different um, But on my mom's side, it's uh, French and Irish and then Chinese on my dad's side So I mean I never get like a lot of people thought either mix a Filipino and Caucasian or something or Hawaiian and uh, Yeah, I don't know What's the monkey do? What's the monkey eating? Orange fruit cups. Orange fruit cup? Orange fruit cups. Orange fruit cups. So cute. Isn't the monkey cute? Yeah. Baby, baby, see me. Yeah, the baby's feeding the monkey. There's so many monkey TikToks. They're so cute. Hi Mia, are you trying to watch the monkey? Is the monkey having a bath? Okay, we got the girls watching monkey. Yep, just, oh. <laughs> you know how to slide up? You're so silly. That's so funny. Yeah, but they love monkeys, so makes sense why I'm doing that theme for their birthday. This is the dress I got, but it's too big. I have to return it. I also got this from Nasty Gal. It's a really nice like romper dress, floral. I love floral anything. So I was gonna do a summer shoot with the girls, a professional one. So I wanted to wear something floral. And then this really nice, I love this green, like this mint green slip dress, which I just think is so pretty. We have like a mom's night out coming up. So I think I might wear this. Oh, all right, what are you doing? I love that hat too. Remember, don't touch buttons or monkey goes away. Sophia, what are you wearing today? Pretty dress. Pretty dress? What color is it? Yeah, yeah. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow? Yellow? Mia, can you count to ten? Ten. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, you guys are too entertained by the monkey. <laughs> Don't touch so sore, monkey goes bye bye. What are you watching, Mimi? Bye. Oh, got a message. Slide up. <laughs> <laughs> you watch mommy too much, huh? You silly girl. You guys got your haircuts too. 
Yes, I was. Are you taking pictures? Yeah. I also think I've changed my purse like 10 times this week. So I've been using this. We've, like I said, have been looking at rental properties. So I have been wearing this also for like lunches. It's so nice to just carry this little handle, top handle, but you can also use a strap. I don't really use a strap though. And then I've switched my wallet like 10 times. So I go from this bag. Um, and then if I'm carrying like a purse or something, I'll take this. Be careful. Hey, sharing please. Your monkey goes bye-bye. Again, we have tons of laundry. If anyone wants to come do our laundry, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> what, what happened to the monkey? I am just gonna wear some jean shorts today. These have been my favorite, the Levi's, and then I'm just going with a tank today. Uh, maybe just like a plain white tank. Oh, wow, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, Sophia. Wow, where'd she go? Yeah, this is nice, comfortable. Probably film another TikTok video later today. There we go. Okay, wanted to quickly show you guys the rest of the haul I got from Nasty Gal. So uh, I got these sunglasses right here, which I thought would be really good for their birthday since it kind of goes with the theme that I'm going for. Um, and then I also got, this is a second outfit because the other dress I got was too big, but I saw this, I was like, this would be really, really nice. So it comes with shorts, it's got like a little top, and then it comes with like a long, long um, thing to put over top, shawl. Um, but it came as a three-piece set, so I just thought this would be really nice, and even to wear, like, but not even for their birthday, but I just think this is really nice for the summer. Um, so I have that, and then I also got, I got this cream dress where it has, like, slits through the sides, and I just thought this would be really pretty for summer. You can wear it with, like, a jean jacket or something, and then I got this white cardigan, which I really need a cardigan because if it gets a little bit colder in the summer, I can wear it with a dress, and it also has, like, a little tie up here, but I really love the pricing at Nasty Gal. I've actually never shopped there before, found tons of stuff. Just wanted to quickly show you guys all that before I put everything away and then I forget to, obviously. Um, but yeah, we just, or we had our barbecue last night at my friend's house. I posted some stories on Instagram. It was so nice. We were there like all day from like one to eight. Um, so we got to hang out with our friends. The girls got to see all their little friends and we just had such a good time. So it's actually the next morning. I'm already having my coffee. I am gonna start editing and filming this video so I can get it up. Um, we're gonna relax today, but I'm just excited to get a new video up. It also started to rain here, which is kind of nice because it's been so hot um, and we definitely needed some rain. But today I think I'm just going to clean, organize the house. I'll try to maybe film a little bit, but I have to do our uh, laundry room because it's a mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog today. I hope you have an awesome week. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not, and I will see you guys in my next video.